Like nobody here likes it. Nobody here wants to do it anymore. It's disgusting. People are boycotting uh, Black Friday. It's more than black though. They call it Black Friday because um, pants is probably the most important difference you'll come across. Huh? Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. My name is Shyam and I'm speaking from India. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you. Nice to My meet you as Rachel. well. My name is Rachel. Thank you. Right, so, Where are you can from? you tell me about yourself? <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. I'm from Michigan. That's a state in the U.S. Mm -hmm. Okay, it is close to Canada. It's surrounded by water, and right now it is cold. Okay, and what time is it right now there? It's one o'clock in the afternoon. Mm, here is eleven mm -hmm. thirty. Yeah, PM. in the evening. Yeah. Okay. You call the evening 11.30? Mm -hmm. Yes, in the evening. What is night? Um, you can say at night or in the evening. Usually um, in the evening means you're still awake and doing things, and so are the people around you. At night is like there's people sleeping, you know, mm -hmm. dark. So um, when it turns from evening to night, eh, it depends what you're doing. <laughs> I think. Mm, okay. If you're sleeping, it's night. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yes. Yeah. So can you tell me about yourself? Um, uh, I'm a student. I'm mm -hmm. studying computer science. And talking to people is my hobby. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. And I've been practicing English for three years now. Mm hmm so what do you think about my English? Well, I can tell that you enjoy speaking with people. Yes, I do. Yeah. Um, I was surprised to, that I was surprised when you said that you're from India because you really don't have a typical Indian accent like at all. Right. So, you're right. Yeah. I'm sure you probably took steps to make that happen. Hmm. Absolutely. What did you do? Um, what I did was I, 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 I couldn't learn English in mm -hmm. school. Okay. So, so when I started learning English, uh, I, I learned through foreigners, not in India. Mm -hmm. So I, if I had learned English in school, Maybe I would have Indian accent, but that makes sense. I studied late. I studied English speaking very late. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. and when I did, mm -hmm. it was all with uh, foreign people, mm -hmm. like native speakers. Native speakers, non-natives, but not from India. Interesting. Did they all, ha what kind of accent did they have? Did they have like British accent, American accent? Uh, like uh, I, in the initial stage, I made a lot of friends. They were from Turkey, Indonesia, and what other country? Thailand. So besides Indian accent, they have their own accent. Yeah. Yeah. And also, um, I talked to lots of American and British people. Mm -hmm. Yes. So they all had an influence on my accent. Mm -hmm. I can yes. tell that you've spoken with a lot of American people. Um, the thing is that the languages that you have in India, the natural accenting of those languages is much more similar to American English accenting than British English accenting. Yes, and, yes. Yeah, I'm sure you've noticed that. Yes, American English is, yes, most of the countries prefer American English. Some countries prefer British. Mm -hmm. like, like a lot of people in China I met, so they were learning British English. Yes. I mean, it's all the same, it's just the accenting is different. Yeah, it's, it's the accent. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly. And uh, and uh, there are some differences of words sometimes. Yeah, there's some. 
like the word trolley or the word jumper. Very different things. Pants, that one's, <laughs> pants is probably the most important difference you'll come across with British versus American English. So we use British in India then. <laughs> Uh, pants in the U.S. literally means like pants. Okay. Pants in British doesn't mean that. <laughs> What does it mean? It means like underwear. Huh? Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I learned What that awkwardly a long time ago. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, the other one that's kind of weird is vacation, not vacation, is holiday. So, uh -huh. um, usually, you know, when people first learn English, you hear, you use the word holiday the British way, like for vacation. But mm -hmm. if you say holiday to an American, or if an American says something about holiday to you, we're talking about like Christmas, Thanksgiving, Easter, St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> Yes, yes. Not a vacation, you know? Okay, okay. So we also use holiday for festivals. Mm -hmm. Yes. And also for if you get off. Yeah, time off. India. Yeah, like uh, tomorrow we're not going. We call yeah. it holiday. So, but for, yeah. American, but for American, holiday is uh, uh, kind of a festival. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Christmas. Yeah, that specific day. Mm -hmm. I see. Now, What is the biggest festival in America? Christmas. Christmas. Mm -hmm. Is it natively Chris? The the Christmas is natively American festival. I'm sorry, I'm not sure what you mean by that because like Native like, Americans uh, or Indigenous name? Americans don't celebrate, well maybe they do, maybe they don't, it's not their holiday. Okay. But I guess I don't know what you mean because like the people who have lived here for like hundreds and hundreds of years, yeah, it's, it's native to us most certainly. Mm -hmm. um, and we just had a Black Friday, right? 24th of November. Uh, well, it's the day after Thanksgiving. Uh, Black Friday is, it's not a holiday. It's not celebrated. Um, it is a shopping day that corporations made up. And we're not going for it this year. Like their deals aren't good. And we don't have any money to spend anymore because everything's so expensive. And Nobody needs the stuff that they are discounting. And if they're discounting stuff, if you look at the price that it was like a few weeks ago, like it's the same price. So people are boycotting uh, Black Friday. It is not something that the vast majority of Americans are interested in. And um, the news and the corporations are realizing this and they're panicking right now. It, it's hilarious to watch. I'm greatly enjoying the downfall of um, corporate America. Like I'm having a great time watching this because they're panicking. <laughs> like nobody here likes it. Nobody here wants to do it anymore. It's disgusting. It's it's brainless consumerism the day after you say what you're thankful for. Mm. It, it's just so gross to us. Why they call it black though? They called it Black Friday because um, that's, if you're looking at like, If you're a company or you're, you're a corporation and you're looking at your numbers, if you're in the red, that means you didn't make enough sales. If you're in the black, that means you made a ton of sales. So they called it Black Friday because they wanted to make a ton of sales for themselves. The only people who are celebrating this holiday, which isn't a holiday at all, are people who own corporations. And like, honestly, you mean by all, all the businesses, right? specifically the CEOs, the people who work there, like, you know, the people who work retail or the people who do like management at the, um, like the regional level or whatever, none of those people are for it. Mm -hmm. Like the people who are working in the headquarters of that, of that company, they're not getting, they, they're not enjoying it. Like they also aren't getting paid enough money to buy their own product. Like why would they be into it? The only people are the shareholders and the CEOs.
Mm. None of us want anything to do with it anymore. So um, maybe you guys still get good deals. And if you do, that's awesome. But we don't. <laughs> yeah, most of the people might not know the meaning of Black Friday. We don't celebrate it in India. Yeah, it's, it's not. It shouldn't. It's you not a see sometimes on websites like Black Friday mm -hmm. sales. Something yeah. Like this. Yeah. Well, like this year, it's supposed to be Cyber Monday right now. You know what I mean? And like, I looked online for the few things that I'm looking to purchase. And there's like smaller things. But they used to be that, you know, all of these sales would be at least 50% off, if not more. 75, 80% off in a lot of cases. Most cases, they were 75 to 80% off. And I was really hoping for that because uh, we're all broke this year. And I just have a few things I want to buy for my daughter. And um, it's, nobody's discounting anything that actually people are buying. They're discounting TVs. Nobody needs another TV. What we need discounts on is small things, like $20 mm -hmm. and under things. We could use discounts on those. Groceries, gas, rent, like bills. We're all saying, give us a Black Friday and bills and rent. We're not going out to buy another TV, you know, and they're just not so, getting it. They don't get it. They're not the vibe anymore. So it is the only festival you have where you get sales or discounts? No, no, um, it's not. It used to be this thing like 20 years ago when they created it. They made it to be like this huge discount right before Christmas thing. Mm -hmm. Um, in an attempt, in a very obvious attempt to just make more people buy their stuff. But um, no, no, corporate America will make a sale out of literally anything. President's Day sale, uh, Fourth of July sale, Halloween sale, like Easter sale, Christmas sales, other than Black Friday, like the pre-Black Friday sale, Black Friday in July, like they'll, they'll put things on sale for any reason. They'll try and say, hey, this is a great price, but it's like literally like a dollar off. And they're trying mm -hmm. to advertise it. So, yeah, it's not really, it's corporate America, you know. Okay. Nope. Thank you very much. Yes. It was nice to meet you. I'll see, see you later. You. Okay.